Hey folks, welcome back to another video. I thought I'd start this one reminiscing about Sling Mountain from uh, back in the day. It's been a bad day here at uh, JB Mountain Skills headquarters. I've been out working on Trivan back today, uh, running the start of um, a two day uh, like advanced scrambling course, so like mountaineering type skills. Sorry if you can hear the noise, the boy's having his dinner. Um, the bit of bad news was that this trainers are falling apart. Um, the trusty Adidas ones that you can't buy anymore. I think they're repairable because the rest of them is in reasonable nick but the trouble is I always think like they went today it fell off or mostly fell off on um, Trivanbach itself which is a fairly inconsequential place for it to happen because it's not far from the road all that kind of stuff and yeah I can glue it and fix it but then what happens if it, the other one starts to fall off or I don't do a good job on that one that one starts to fall off uh, you know, halfway up something that is a bit more consequential, maybe on like the main face of Glidavac or something like that. Um, so I, I'll fix them, but they're going to be demoted to like a, a dog walking kind of shoe, I suspect. The other bit of bad news, um, so I go rooting through my blue ice bag. I did remember the bananas, that's good news. Just need to pull out the rack of kit that I used today, not that one. The main rack, here it is. Jingle jangle. Here was the really bad news. Apologies for all that noise. Um, it's the cams, the cams, the cams, the cams. This one, especially a few of them, but especially this one. Pull the trigger. Let that focus first. It might focus. There we go. Pull the trigger. I am cranking properly hard, as you can see. Um, I can move the lobes. Just that one's a bit seized up. What happened? Well, I went sea cliff climbing. That's what happened last Friday. What day is it today? Uh, Thursday today. So less than a week ago, uh, I was running a, a course and we went sea cliff climbing on the last day. Uh, and it was a bit windy, um, some big waves. So whilst the stuff didn't get properly soaked, it definitely got a bit sprayed uh, with the sea mist and that. And I finished the course and said to the guys on the course, make sure you wash your kit to get all the sea spray and the salt uh, off it so they don't corrode. And what did I not do? Because I completely forgot. I forgot to wash my own kit. So the cams are a bit seized up. Um, the big one, I usually find that the big ones are the least likely to seize up. I think that one did it as well though. Uh, you can see, not returning there, so that needs sorting. Little ones, the, I find the little ones normally go worse, but actually they're okay for some reason. Um, so anyway, I'm going to clean them. So uh, what I thought I'd do is run yeah, only a short video. Probably this waffle outweighs the actual cleaning bit. Um, what I need to do though is rinse them first. I'm going to get off, you know, the worst of the the, the salt and uh, that kind of stuff that's in there. So just nipping into my shed. I'm just going to get a bucket of water. Excuse the noise again. My shed properly falling down. It's a job for the next month or so is to repair it or replace it more likely. I'm going to fill that water. Oh, I need something else from the shed as well, which is, uh, oh, here we go. I'm going to use that one, GT85, and a degreaser as well. There's a little bit left in there. Um, I find these work a bit better than WD40. I find that with WD40, I might be imagining this, but it feels like it always leaves a bit more of a residue behind so that more dirt and stuff is attracted um, to the to the kit and therefore more likely to get gunked up and jammed up and then not work when I need it to work. Um, so what I'll do is I'll fill up the bucket, go outside again and you'll join me in a second chatting through what I do to free them up. Right, I filled my bucket of water up. I'm not going to use any degreaser because I've run out. There was nothing left in the can, so I've put it back when I should have thrown it away. I don't tend to use it when the problem is not that it's all greased up and gunked up and stuff. It's more the corrosion kind of stuff from the seawater. Uh, I tend just to rinse them in a bucket of water. So I put the cams in there, give them a good swirl around, leave them for a minute, agitate them a bit, all that kind of stuff. And then when you get them out, shake off what you can. Just pull it, that one's not too bad. I can feel like a little bit of resistance. So all I'm gonna do, wipe off a bit of excess, cause kind of why not? Get the GT85, give it a good spray all over. Try and get it right in the springy bits and on the axles and everything. And do it once you've sort of constricted and move it around a bit and just get loads going on in there. 
wipe off the excess. It won't damage slings or rope or anything like that. Uh, it's just you don't really want that kind of stuff on there in terms of making it feel a bit slippery or anything. Uh, so try and keep it free. And then wiping off the excess, it just kind of gets rid of that layer that seems to sort of attract dust and dirt and all that kind of stuff. So it feels like it's worth doing that. You just want it on the, the sort of bits that are moving in there, don't you? That's already working much more nicely, so that's good. Um, other people, some people recommend WD-40. I find that that just leaves a bit more of a residue behind that attracts more of that dust and dirt and what have you. Other people say duck oil, yeah, a little dab of that or whatever. Perhaps using a bit of degreaser first, plus gas. There's loads of stuff. It's just what I have in the cupboards, so that's what I use. You can get specific uh, um, oil from people like Metolius for cams, but uh, sometimes if I'm finding they need a bit of a lubrication beyond the GT85, which isn't much of a lubricant really, um, then just a bit of bike chain oil, anything like that, just a thin oil can, can help them run nice and smoothly. I just find that normally rinsing and some good spray action and moving back and forth with the GT85 works really well. It was this gold one that was worst off, again, shaking off the excess. It's moving a bit, that, well, that, that one's fine actually, as you can see, it's this side, and I think the gold one's okay. It's that, yeah, that one that's really stiff, so that's properly gunked up. So I'm just trying to move it loads, like that, okay. And then I'll get the GT85 on it again. It's a shame this isn't sponsored by GT85, this one and just try, can't really move it with a trigger yet, bend it back that way, get loads of spray in there, flush anything out, it's all running quite clear so it's not too much gunk in there. Like I say, it's just that salt water corrosion kind of thing. It feels like I caught it in time because I can still move it. I've had some cams where when you pull the trigger or even try to do what I'm doing now, there's nothing and I've uh, gone the extra step of Oh, there's a few things you can do just leave it soaking in this kind of stuff and just move it back and forth quite a lot i have had success in the past with uh, boiling cams yeah there might be some uh stuff to be careful of in terms of there is plastics what effect that has on the metal i'm not an engineer but it's worked for me so fact check that one and then but like i say just loads of spray loads of moving back and forth um if you want to get that kind of metolius oil on there they make the special stuff for cams that that can work really well uh make them last a bit longer but the moral to this story really is maintain it prevention is better than cure and all that kind of thing so you know if you have been to a sea cliff get home dunk everything in uh, some water and just rinse it off and then give it a sort of precautionary spray with the with the gt85 you do it all with the carabiners as well, you know, give them a rinse, same thing, just put a bit of uh, spray on the moving parts and they're going to live a long and happy life. And then when you turn up to work, first thing, uh, and get your cams out and try and give a lesson on cams, you won't crank it and it'll go, oh, it's not moving, I need to do some maintenance. So that one is moving more freely, but not quite free enough yet. So I'll just soak it in some more, keep working it, keep moving it and do the rest of them as well and bring the rest of the rack out, dunk it, leave it to dry weather's been ace i hope being able to be out and about enjoying it oh, it's a little bat it's a bit early for a bat to be flying around it's only like half past five um the weather's set to change i think but it has been lush and it's been great to be out climbing hasn't it in our bit of summer hope the video has been useful do fire away with any questions as always happy to answer as best i can like i say there's other lubricants and sprays and people sing the praises of the ones they like like i say that's just what i happen to have in the shed ready for the bike uh, and all that kind of stuff as well so you can see i'm just moving this it's already moving freer so uh, there you go so it's already moving a bit but needs a bit more encouragement but i can actually get it going with the trigger now so it's working slowly but surely fire away those questions i'm happy to answer as best i can as I say every time, find us on Facebook, Insta, click the like button, smash the subscribe button, all those things that are super useful and massively appreciated. Uh, honestly, been doing these videos quite a while now, but uh, the support is still massively appreciated. It still blows my mind, so thank you very much. As always, though, once again, thanks very much for watching. More videos coming up very soon.